Today I'm reviewing my top eight I'm dead and I realize it moments in film. Some of the most dramatic moments in movies are when the character realizes that they are gonna die within a few seconds, a few minutes, whatever. Today I'm gonna be going over my favorites and of course this is gonna be spoiler filled. Also I'm gonna be indicating the moment I think the character realized they were gonna die with a point and a sound effect like this. By the way, if you have not seen any of the movies on this list, watch with caution. I will be spoiling things. Jurassic Park. You got the tough English guy who's going after those raptors. He gets his gun ready, he thinks he's got the upper hand and he's gonna kill the raptor. But of course these raptors are smart and have the upper hand on him. Clever girl. In the movie Tombstone, Wyatt Earp and Johnny Ringo are supposed to have a gunfight. Johnny Ringo waits for Wyatt Earp to appear and is shocked by the appearance of Doc Holliday. I believe it's at this moment right here that he realizes he's dead. Why, Johnny Ringo, you look like somebody just walked over your grave. Yeah, he starts to try to get out of the fight. Fight's not with you, Holliday. But he realizes that Doc Holliday is a better gunslinger than he is. The scene plays out and of course Doc Holliday ends up winning. He is no Daisy. You're no Daisy. You're no Daisy at all. Poor soul. You were just too high strung. Major Kong, Dr. Strangelove. Stanley Kubrick's amazing movie about learning to love the bomb. It has one of the craziest death scenes ever. And you know what? Not every one of these death scenes has to be something serious. This is a guy who's having a good time. He knows he's going to die. So he might as well die riding that bomb like he would a bull. What about Major Kong? Aliens. Our heroes are getting attacked. Aliens are coming from the walls, the ceilings, the ground. They're coming from everywhere. And our heroes are trying to get to the escape ship. Badass Marine Vasquez is shooting as many as she can, but she gets behind and gets attacked by one of the aliens and gets acid all over her. She's stuck. Gorman decides to go help her. He finds her and tries to pull her out, shooting as many aliens as he can. Of course, he runs out of bullets. And the only thing left is a grenade. You always were an asshole, Gorman. Set It Off. Set It Off is about a bunch of ladies robbing banks, and they're getting pretty good at it, but at the end of the movie, of course, the cops catch on to them, and they're following them. Queen Latifah and the ladies get stuck in a tunnel where the helicopter above is about to get them. It's at this point, when she tells her friends to leave the car, that I think she knows she's gonna die. We gotta split up, okay? Gotta. I gotta catch up to y'all later, I promise. Let's go. And she is gonna go out like a badass. She takes her classic car and plays chicken with a helicopter. Then she's gonna chase by the cops and unfortunately she gets surrounded. At this point, the beautiful song Up Against the Wind starts playing, which I can't play for copyright reasons. She pulls out a cigarette, knows that she's gonna keep on going for it. Now the scene becomes very dramatic because of the music I was talking about. And then finally, she gets out of the car and gets shot. But man, does she go out like a badass. It's the end of the movie Independence Day. All the planes have run out of missiles, and Randy Quaid's character is the only one that has a missile left. Of course, the missile malfunctions, and he looks at a picture of his kids and realizes the only way to save the day is for him to become a hero and take that plane and shove it right up that alien ship's hole. Tell my children I love them very much. All right, you alien assholes. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Boys! I'm back! 1978's Invasion of the Body Snatchers. 
So toward the end of the movie, you got Veronica Cartwright and Donald Sutherland, and unfortunately they get separated. But they realize if they just act like these body snatchers and kind of walk around like zombies, they can fake them out and not get taken over. So we cut to Donald Sutherland, who's acting like one of them. And then we cut back to Veronica Cartwright, who notices him and is like, hey, are you okay? Hey. And at this moment, she realizes that Donald Sutherland's character has been taken over by the body snatchers and starts doing that crazy scream. And her reaction here is why. This is one of those crazy I'm dead and I know it moments. Pop quiz hot shot. You're about to die. Jeff Downs' character thinks that he caught the bad guy. They got his address, they got everything. That's our scumbag! I got him, Jeff, we found him. So he takes the SWAT team in and they break into the guy's house. Little do they know Dennis Hopper has the upper hand on him. As they're exploring the house, Jeff Daniels suddenly realizes something's off. And it's the three second facial expression that says it all. I'm dead and I know it. Anyways, that's my list and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, subscribe and like to the channel. Hold on a second. Yeah, I'm doing a review right now. What's up? Hello, this is Boris, international drug dealer. I've been watching your list on a surveillance camera in your room. If you think you're such a great critic, show me your performance. What would happen if I told you you were gonna die in 20 seconds? This is just a review, man. I'm not really... By the way, this is no joke. I don't joke. <laughs> Show me your performance. Good luck. After every review, he comes back, right? Well, if he comes back, I'll be ready. <laughs>